Hey everybody, welcome back to Deck Thief, where I play with my previous opponent, Stank. Last time, we played a DGC Mirror match. So we get to play DGC again, a uh, slightly different DGC. Um, we have no seed this time around? Did we have seed last time? I, I don't remember. We have a uh, still two cards of 2A5s in a tank tab. Why this time around one of them is upvited? We also have the base 2A4 instead of the 2A4 NL. We have two cards of KCT upvited. We have to recan Amex 13, which I mwah, chef's kiss, I love it. We have Nadris for spam infantry. We have Marder 2 this time around. We have the base Milan. Instead of, you know, we don't have Stingers this time around either. It's a very interesting deck and, you know, quite a differently uh, built DGC. You know, the differences that I remember is like the Mortar, the Gepard A2, Core Marineer. Um, last time around we had Salt Ribbon in the 5 pointer, for example. Of course, two cards of 2 of 5s, although one is up by the Tiger and Mercanding, of course. We still had, I think, one card of KCTs. Uh, but, you know, it is still rather different. No Rolands. Um, I definitely do think, especially when you take two cards of Gephardt, I, I think um, the A1 is, is better. Don't get me wrong, 65% accuracy is really, really good, but it is IMO uh, worth it to give a 5% accuracy for the, for having a stabilizer. It's not an amazing stabilizer, but it's a stabilizer, which helps a lot. And um, the Gephardt and Gephardt A1 have Presumably, um, actually too high of an availability, honestly. So you can even get seven up by that of an A1 variant, which is a very self-sufficient AA piece, um, or self-sustainable, if you will. Uh, on its own, it is quite impactful. You know, it's not like a cheap bag that can easily get overwhelmed by two helicopters. Gepard A1, not so easily. It still can, you know, if they have one place when they are, you know, not the weakest of helicopters. But then again, if you play well. On its own, it can still do quite a lot. Lars 2 is also interesting to see. Not a bad unit at all. But you just don't see it that often. Um, yeah, we have a fob. Only 7 CVs. Also, when you run, when I run a fob, I definitely do prefer the 20 point supply trucks. They're less supply per point when you buy them, but you get more of them. So it's easier to you know use a single one even to supply just, I don't know, one single unit that's like a Milan squad or something. You know? Costs you less. So, um, yeah, with a fob and resupplying your supply trucks at the fob, um, the efficiency of or point efficiency of, you know, supply per point is not nearly as important as it would otherwise be. And even then, it's not crazy important most of the times in the first place. But in any case, I should see you in a second once we find a ranked game. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our opponent. All right, EGC on this map can be spicy. I feel like it's a it's a deck that can like in open areas like this, um, if, especially in the early stages of the game when you don't have a proper foothold, uh, can potentially be bullied by helicopters and like heavy airplay. But of course our opponent doesn't know that you're playing this deck, so I'm not too worried about it. And it's not like it's absolutely horrible or anything like that. But you know, with with not having access to stuff like Trotals or the like, they have like really long anti-helo range. Th these situations just can occur. Alright, we want to get some Milans in there. Uh, I'm, I don't think I want to fight in here. If it happens to be, be playing against a mech deck, or a deck with like lots of heavy armor, high armor stuff like Soviets. Having mainly 84s can be annoying. We do have Panzerfaust 3s, but I don't really feel comfortable pushing down here. So we're gonna see if we can take a foothold here, get a get a position in there. Get like a core squad. Open with a tiger. Sure, why not? Get a Milan in here. As well, Panzer Grand Squad. Yeah, FL12 in there. And you know what? Because uh, why not to start with the 205 NL, huh? The Gepard A2. We also have a Tiger for some additional air defense. 
Or dare I with two super heavies? I, I don't. I don't. I do not dare. It's for support. Get some Natres in there. Actually, I'm gonna get an Escort for there instead of a Martyr 2. The Martyr 2 we're gonna use in mid. Even though it is not a mid unit. <laughs> I'm so funny. Um, some Recon Infantry really wouldn't bad. Wouldn't be bad. Alright, good luck and fun. Gonna go down and change altitude. We wanna have we want it to hover low so it can't get easily shut down by AA below the plateau. You stay there, the other one uh, just goes here. Order stay there. I don't know if I already gave the order here. Just try from there. Take this road. Salamandra, alright, we wanna kill that. Oh that's probably an E290 though. Okay, let's fly like this, so maybe we can break line of sight of the E290 if there is one. Oh, there's Ergois. We didn't get a Salamandra, but we at least we forced it away, and we didn't lose our Tiger. Mm, we don't really have anything great for base defense, but that's... You know what? Mm. But better safe than sorry. Oh, that's the MiG-29. Oh, we got with the Gepard. We need, potentially need this um, um, martyr to help out with the... Uh, oh, that's a mod! To help out with these KTs over there. Or maybe not. Wanted to check for some potential stuff sneaking about there. Is it Ericois? Get a CV. Well, there's some sneaking happening. Is it a Syria? It is, I wasn't really paying attention with my macro, I might get punished here, but yeah. I was gonna say, it looks like one of those is not on target, but the mod is line of sight on us. But it missed, or it should have something else. It was an incredibly greedy MiG-29. That we also shot down. You still live. Stop the ripping squad in there. You're spotted, huh? Oh, you just fired, I think. We just fired. Maybe we can get the shot off. Greedy with this, he just re aimed. Yep, he was re aiming at our, uh, at our leopard there. You could see as soon as I broke line of sight, he had to re aim because the target was gone. We get our own thing because he's not smoking. Make sure we try to keep line of sight.
Nice, that's why I moved the Natres out. That's that tank gone. Get another murder too. You're out in the open for some reason. And probably because I told them to, but I thought I told them to get into the town block there. Seems like that KT was empty. Where's our tiger? There it is. Definitely too slow on the tiger. Was prepared for a much, much longer time. Alright, and that's a good early start into the game. Um, got a bit lucky, of course, with this area, but... It's, you know, ignoring, you know, other factors, it's basically as like a... Well, not ignoring factors, like 20-ish percent chance to uh, to hit with both. Sorry. Uh, um, oh, that's not nice. Alright, fine. Fine, I'll get a hero song. Shit. No, what am I talking about? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Like, uh, maybe like a 30-ish percent chance and could look like a little, little bit of veterancy and the fact that the 2 of half is big to hit with both. Um, but... I also just could have gotten punished for um, my lack of smoke, and luckily I didn't for me. But you know, these days I'm just, I'm really not that used to super heavies anymore. Um, I presume those KTs are probably empty and came with those Yakari. Dude, AMX 13s are so fucking disgusting, man. Incredibly light in mid. Let's. Let's. Uh, the water is a bit. Did I not buy a supply truck? Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yep. Did you kill? What a chat! What a chat! Kills two KTs, man! Oh, what a fucking chat that is, man. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, damn. Um, let's see if we can get like just a cheeky Milan squad in there. Let's make twenty nine, a new one. Are we playing against pure fin? No, we're not. We're there was in Syria. Oh my god, what a what a squad that was, man. Thing is, well, we traded one F one hundred four. Instead, we tried the peace run. I didn't pay attention to the peace run. What it got shot down by? Oh, this is this is empty, really. Where did all those? Did he? I presume he must have started with the, this. I guess they probably also should have started with those two KTs. IMO, in my opinion, if you want to sneak around a relatively long part of the map where it takes you several minutes, I wouldn't bother starting with it. You're gonna save a minute or two in like a, what takes six or seven minutes anyway. Sure, there's a chance that. At the end of the day, you would just, you know, saving that minute might, you know, allow you to get there. Oh, in into uh, into the base or something before you get detected, maybe. But I still feel like it's not worth it to give up potentially so much of so many of your starting points. Those two KTs in here or something, or maybe somewhere else, I think could have done more work, or more work than you know they. Of course, I mean, of course, in hindsight, that they ended up doing, but. Um, as you can see, if they arrived earlier or later, didn't really matter in this case, right? No, no, you stay there. Get like a word canning. Start to rip them. Honestly, let's just get another heals. Get a two-stack of them and try to use, um... Tigers and F104s for our uh, anti helo defense. Try, of course, it's the big. Go Syria. Probably for a murder, I presume. Yeah, he was like, I gotta move that up. Maybe it's like split them a bit. This is a bit of a cheeky, or like not cheeky, but the aggressive position with the dangerous. Alright, try to get back in there. Hmm. Get some more of these AMXs. Maybe another Mario Q as well. Oh, oh, oh. Barely made it in there. Okay, Fuchs Milan, stay in there. I don't want you to get killed. And that is a KT. You can see the the, the autocon in there. Oh, yeah, now we identified it as well. 
This, this thing is so disgusting, man. We should probably get like an ASF. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> You're in the healer range. Keep that smoke up. Get another mortar so we don't suddenly stand there without a mortar in a bit. Or without mortar ammo, I should say. You're out of ammo. Are you out of mortar? That's a hit. Maybe we get another one. We do, but I don't think that was an actual kill. Another... Is it a... So it's another Syria. Ah, God. Oh, I got lucky. Let's see if we can get rid of you. Nice. That's a. Uh, I got. Then I got. I got serious. Ooh. Um, what was I gonna say? This last me turn in line. Both serious are damaged. Whatever that's worth. Oh no, my uh, seven front armor IFV. What am I gonna do against the rocket bots? I mean, not gonna lie, it's still dealt a good amount of damage, right? Stuns me, but now I hit up all of these rocket pots. Let's just retreat because uh, you're out of ammo. Give you some smoke because those spikes are gonna be in line of sight any second. Okay, I can actually unload you and try to walk up, maybe. But those sissy. But that's the thing I was talking about, right? Especially from this side. A lot of your reinforcement routes are very out in the open. It's very easy to get line of sight on, line of sight on them. So you can you know, spot the chaos arc and such. I can lie, those planes are our opponent, at least those serious, pretty darn unlucky. Uh, many times I did not get punished for my misplays. Oh wow, the sissies, they were not unloaded. There they are. Oh, did you really land so quickly? What the heck? BTF 50s, okay, whatever. Oh shit. Oh, you came up way too early, my man. Oh, that was way too greedy with your uh, with your salamandra there, buddy. Wait, where did my... What is the escort? Get another CV. Turn you off for now. Some not some corn. Mm. Oh no! What are you? What is you doing? What is you doing? Oh, I see what you were doing. You're trying to bait me and then kill me with the KT. Too bad I just fucking one shot you. <laughs> and I was paying a bit of attention. AC-72 Are they dead already? Oh, I heard the rocket pods helped Oh, that's a GG. Well, that was pretty... Pretty darn one-sided 
uh, maybe I know the Steam name. I know it's uh, given that the Steam name is just a bunch of numbers. I presume this might be a Smurf, but I'm blaming anyone. Oh wait, uh, I know nice amount of sounds. At first, I thought I caught us Ericos in a sill, but I didn't. Then the Ericos would come right after the sill one five seven in the kill list. These ones I might have caught out though. Don't look. Ericos cost thirty five points already. That's thirty five, right? Just pay the five extra points and get them in the XA one eighty. So if they get shotted by something like an Amex thirteen that has, you know, ten AP or something or like twelve AP, your whole squad doesn't immediately die. Plus, that XA is so much faster off road and has different moving type thingy my bob, so it gets a different kind of penalty in forests and those five point drugs. So as soon as you have even to drive a bit off road, you're gonna save like I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds even depending on where you're gonna go, or if you're gonna fly, drive around the map like uh, minutes even, right? It's not worth it. You have a ten point transport. It's not like the next. Uh, you know, next cheapest ground transport is like 20 points. No, you can get a basic XA-190 for 5 points where you got plenty of cards of them. Just use them. Don't use Ericois in 5-point trucks. God damn it, why do people do this? It's not worth it. It's just not. There are 4 per card. You save 20 points over the course of a game. You save 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 points in the opening. Like... I'm not saying it's nothing, but come on, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And then it's only if you buy four of them, you, pop, you save 20 points, right? Four of them. It's it's just not worth it, right? If you're talking about a regular Recon Squad, it costs 15 points, you get like 12 of them, and they're like not meant to fight really or like move around a whole lot. Sure, right? I do that all the time. And you know, given how many you might buy, that might even add up to something not irrelevant. But not, not for Ericois or like 35 point squad. So you only get four per card, man. Why do people do this? Oh shit, I killed the Eaton Knight. <laughs> oh man, what is he doing? So there was an Eaton Knight in the opening, almost certainly. Oh man. The thing is, I'm honestly, I'm, if I had, even if I had lost my 205 there, Nah, nah, if I lost my 205, it would have looked differently. Because I was gonna say, even if I had lost my 2A5, I would have, you know, just killed the mod with the peace run, right? But I might have not, or probably would not have, because the 2A5 dealt a good amount of damage after it took one missile from the Syria. But what I'm saying, or what I'm trying to say is, that all the 2A5 did was shoot once at a mod, was my opponent by a Syria that didn't really do much. And that's all the effect it had in the game, right? Outside of that, like after the mod was gone, I, I could have suicided the 205 and the game would have looked exactly the same, right? I'm actually curious about that. Some of the, like, I did not really see where my opponent invested all those points. I mean, I did buy two MiG 29s, two Syrias, a seat plane. Two Salamandras, something like 60, 70, 80 points, like what, 30 points for the two Yakari squads, and then another 50 points for those two Yakari squads in the KT, right? That's 80 points down on this flank. There's the, wait, 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 where's the. There's. <gasps> Did it like drive here and immediately got killed? Oh, it drove. Wait, what? Did it drove like back here? How did I get line of sight on it? Oh, wow. Like from way back. It probably had like line of sight just enough time to aim. And then, while, you know, when, once the aiming was done, it probably started to be out of line of sight. But once the missile is out, once a guided missile is out, it will be able to hit even past its, max, its maximum range. As long as Yundig is like, you know, sitting still and keeps guiding it. Wow, from downtown, man. Jesus. This still makes me wonder. I, I guess I guess they bought a new MiG-29 that killed my piece right then. 
Galsar und Dai hat der Fall. Ranikos down there even. Jeez, Luis. See, that, that's what I'm saying, right? If you had those in there, right? You would have not lost that position, or like, would have not had to reinvest that much here to get, you know, me out of with the KCT and such. Or put them in here and then you have some additional fire support against my Pentagrams or my AMX 13, yada yada yada, right? Still, you know, against the Martyr 2 would have been difficult, but you get the gist, I think. There's a piece, Ryan. Yeah, okay, make the line. I just didn't pay attention to that when I was using it. Also, it was like pretty much no AA there. Wanted to buy an HH10, but really thought. I, I guess I, I can see why you'd buy a seaplane. I can see the thought process. But you have no light on side for the 205, so. It's a mistake. I, it probably was a mistake. In hindsight, of course, it's easy to say. And I make this all the time, but in, in practice, with just the Ericos there, probably would have been better in the long run to just. Uh, I think it was trying really hard to get line of sight with the Eric guys, huh? In the long run, better to just invest in the ground points and then buy the seed plane if need be once you're actually engaging because there was just very little chance to get line of sight on my 2A5. And this Amex 13s, man, the, they're so disgusting. Really, you now buy two VTR 50s here. That is what you think is important. Granted, it's only 30 points, but. I'm not sure if they were meant as flank defense and then were used to push in here out of um, desperation. But I rarely see anyone really invest that much into flank defense here. Not like it doesn't make any sense, but it's easy to like avoid it. But really like it with the hero sock, but also that that honestly had like no real effect in the game at the for the game. The only big deal I think was the Syria missing one of the missiles, which is not that uncommon, of course. But um that was the point where um, it could have not turned around for our opponent. I think all the other lucky stuff, like the heroes and stuff, didn't matter. Like, I could have lost it here. It didn't do anything for the rest of the game, right? Maybe my opponent wouldn't have surrendered. Because it was like, oh, at least I killed the heroes you know, maybe I can come back. I doubt it. Even the rest of the fucking... Cheetah in my base, man. They got freaking destroyed. But yeah, pretty one sided game. But you know, these games happen. Last uh, two day two games ago, it happened the other way around when I got destroyed on hell. In any case, next time we're gonna play Baltic Front. It looks like a decent deck though. Like the deck looks fine. So yeah, I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.